Rami Salami. Uh, it's a pleasure to uh, be here. Uh, and it took some planning to be able to make it here with our busy schedule this summer, but I handed my calendar uh, to my assistant and I said, the month of July and the beginning of August, you move everything around. Uh, it was busy, but you find a way that I can make it back here at least for a week. Uh, and so it's a thrill to be back here. Uh, it is my fourth uh, time with the NBA, uh, representing Miami Heat. Uh, but it's actually my fifth time here, if you count uh, the time I was here with my uh, family when I was a kid. On the way to being the head coach, what was the biggest challenge or was being a field um, a factor on the positive side for you? Or it didn't matter at all that you were, you were in a field? The world is changing. I think we all know it's changing. We still have a ways to go. Uh, I take a lot of pride in the fact that I was the first uh, Filipino-American head coach uh, in any professional American sports uh, team. I don't think that was a positive or a negative. But what I do hope uh, is that it hopefully opened up some eyes and doors for people that, that, that didn't necessarily have that opportunity. Uh, and ultimately, all of our hope uh, is that eventually uh, heritage or, or your background uh, won't necessarily be the story. Uh, and it'll be the story about uh, what you can contribute to the game. Uh, and you know, hopefully this is a, a start uh, and certainly uh, NBA players coming from different areas and different countries, I think that helps as well. Uh, but I think what's important about this is the fact that the NBA game now is global. It is not an American game. Uh, players are coming from every region uh, and country in the world. I think that's what's exciting. The fastest growing market right now in the NBA in the interest of basketball is in South Southeast Asia. Uh, we are well aware of our incredible fan base here in the Philippines. Uh, it staggers our players uh, because they know uh, how popular we are here, almost 10,000 miles away. One question again. What was your mother's reaction when you won the NBA title? Uh, of course, she cried. Uh, she thought uh, we were the reason why we lost uh, the season before uh, because she came out for the finals uh, to Miami. Uh, I felt so uh, horrible about that. I, I wish uh, the reason why we won or lost was because of uh, her, and I could control that at least. Uh, but this year, she stayed at home in Portland, <laughs> Oregon, uh, and waited until we actually had the opportunity to win. So obviously she was very proud, and, and she cried, and we were able to uh, share a special moment back at home uh, with my entire family and all my friends that I grew up with uh, about a week later.